I think I need to lie down. Do you know what? I'd, I'd have a lie in the bath if it weren't for the fact there's a pretty good chance the bathroom ceiling's going to collapse soon, so... So I don't know about you, but I find that when I wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning to find my entire bathroom ceiling on the floor, that that really puts a damper on my day. So right now, I could really use a good, strong dr Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> so this happened not so long ago. Um, with all the sober for October stuff, um, tenants decided that they'd have another crack at an alcohol-free beer. And I say another crack at an alcohol-free beer because they've actually they've been down this road before with something called Hee-haw, Yee-haw, Nino, I'm not quite sure. It was it was something like that. It had a ridiculous name. Um, <laughs> some people apparently really like that name. Um, I, I just think it sounds a bit dumb. So this is their new product. It's called Tenant Zero and it's a completely alcohol-free Lager, 0.0%, uh, which is exciting. Um, I will quickly join the bandwagon in saying they definitely missed a trick by not calling it teetotal. Come on, loving that blue. That is a, that is a gorgeous blue. That is a beautiful, beautiful blue. Um, so the main comparison really is obviously what's it like against a normal tenant's. Now, I've had lots of alcohol beers before. Some of them are passable, some of them are all right, but you, you definitely know that you're drinking an alcohol-free beer. There's just, there's just something about it that says, hey, I'm not beer. I'm something else. I'm kind of excited to see if this has broached that divide. Because they say that they've spent a load of time on it. In fact, I'll read the copy. That's what I'll do. That's, that's always a bit of fun, isn't it? Um, filling a couple of minutes with marketing waffle. <clears throat> tenants have been brewing beer in Scotland for over 130 years. Since Hugh Tennant first... We, we know this one from the Tenants video, if you've not seen that. Uh, let's get to the bit where it actually talks about this product specifically. <laughs> Continuing Scotland's long history of innovation and creativity, Tenant Zero has been created to equal the same great flavour of Tenants Lager that has been loved by millions since 1885. Using Scottish barley, the fresh water of Loch Katrine, and the finest hops, Tenant Zero gives you the chance to enjoy that familiar taste, whatever the occasion. To put it simply, a great tasting alcohol free beer. Pop in for a tour, blah de blah de blah. Come see us at some point. Sweet, awesome, cool. Um, whilst I was doing some research for this as well, of which most of it has gone out of my head because of, you know, the shenanigans that have happened today, um, I discovered, actually, there's a lot of, like, Tenants products out there that I didn't know about. I knew about Tenants Light, I knew about Tenants Lager, I knew about, um, Sweetheart Stout. There's an IPA, and there's, like, a Scottish Wee Heavy and stuff. I, I had no idea. I did not know they exist. I don't know if they're brand new, or they've just always been there, and I just never knew. I don't know. But, um, comment down below. Would you like me to try more of the Tenants Extended range? Because Tenants IPA is a thing. Who knew? I don't know. I, I did not know this thing. Well, fuck it, let's get this into a glass and see if it is indeed the same, because this could be a game changer. If this tastes exactly the same as Tenants, but just isn't alcoholic. Yeah, man. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's not a promising sign, actually. So the aroma that I get from over here, there's something very familiar, but it's not tenants familiar it's it's alcohol free beer familiar I, I don't really know what i was expecting really maybe i was expecting a miracle or something but um there's loads of products that are pushing at the minute for their alcohol free alternatives and it's almost like they're pretending that they don't taste radically different um the alcohol free gin is the most recent thing that we tried before this that that was not good that was very much not good at all um i get that people dig these products um, and, yeah, but don't try and pretend that they're the same. So, the head has disappeared. That's gone. Yeah, okay. 
It smells like very naked malt. It smells like... Do you know what? If anyone's ever left Ovaltine in the microwave for a bit too long, it's a really specific thing, but it's got this kind of like burnt malt thing about it. Um, yeah, okay. It's not unpleasant, but it's very different. That's the, that's the critical thing with it, it's very different. It doesn't smell unappealing, but there's a very obvious difference. It's just super malty, super, super malty. Do you know, it's not a billion miles off, but it is just a little bit off. The weirdest thing with alcohol-free beers is you, you kind of expect them to taste, if not the same, similar or inferior in some cases. And with a lot of alcohol-free beers, they actually have an additional flavor on top of it. And it's this kind of malty, rye bready kind of a flavor, and this has it. It's not unpleasant, but it is kind of like, hi, I'm different. Um, you know, it, it does make itself known that there is a point of difference with this. It, it's sweeter. It's got like a sweet, yeasty kind of a thing going on with it. It's light, it's refreshing. Um, and you know what, it does have that sort of hint of hop that Tenant's Lager also has, where it's like, you wouldn't go so far as to say, oh, this is hoppy, but you know what I mean? You can. That's Scottish for something. Do you know what? If they marketed this as malted milk flavored Tenant's, A, they'd probably make a killing. B, you wouldn't question it. That's, I think that's my takeaway from this. Um, it's not a disaster. Which I'm glad about, because I needed something today not to be. But, yeah, I dig it. it do you know what? It's one of the better alcohol-free beers that I've tried. Um, up until now, the best alcohol-free beer I tried was actually a porter. Um, and I think you can get away with more with that style. But as, like, an alcohol-free light beer, yeah, I'm into it. I dig it. Um, it does not taste exactly the same. I think I was being naive in thinking that it would, but it's still nice, it's still good, it's still bright, it's clean, it's refreshing, it's kind of like biscuity and malty, which isn't unwelcome, it's just different. And it's alcohol free, which, Brucey bonus. Uh. Oh no. I'll happily drink that, which is just as well, because I could only get this as a four pack, so. I'm gonna have to. I dig that actually. I'm into it. It's nice. It's nice. My final thoughts are it's nice. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, comment down below if you didn't also know that there was more in the tenants line. I still haven't done the tenants light. That's an easy one to pick up, I suppose, if you wanted me to do that. Or tenants super. I've not actually, I've not done most tenants. I only recently did tenants to be fair. So, I mean, you know, I'm not exactly. Not exactly zooming ahead with that one, but um, yeah. Actually, let me know down below. What was your, what has been your favourite alcohol-free or alcohol-free alternative? I suppose um, there are alcohol-free proseccos. Kombucha is lauded as an alternative. Um, you've got plenty of options. Those alcohol-free gins and rums and stuff. I don't dig those. Do you know? I've stopped waiting for people to come in and out of the door. I just leave it in now. That. That is the noise of the door slamming. It's really fucking loud. <laughs> but I mean, I've come to learn that it's not the worst thing that this building has to throw at me. So I'll, I'll take the slamming doors. The slamming doors are fine. It's when bits of the building start falling on your head that you've got. Uh, there's links to my Patreon as well, if you want to fund a mortgage for me. Feel free, I'm not going to stop you. Thumb this video if you enjoyed these shenanigans, and um, do join me next time where I'll be drinking something else. Mm -hmm.